What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Mark88. I came through, got another location, you know what I'm saying? I came to my boy, Rose's crib. Oh, what's in? Go ahead, introduce yourself, man. Yeah, what's good? I'm, uh, I'm Walker Road Rose, you feel me? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? I came over here. I hit him up in the DM. I was like, tell me some shit about your album. I seen you post some. So, this is what I'm over here for, to give you some... Some like some shine about your album, so I'm gonna let you talk about it for a little bit. Alright, uh well <clears throat> the album is uh Road Rage. Uh, Road Rage. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah. It's kinda like uh it's kinda like a a play on my name, obviously. Uh-huh. Uh and like uh Okay, okay, I see it. You know what I'm saying? And, uh 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 basically like a writing in my diary kinda, you know what I'm saying? Like a like a spilling my soul out type of thing, like opening my mind up and like yeah, Let, letting my shit out. You feel me? Like being myself this time. Like I ain't really all of these songs I made. <clears throat> I ain't really make for, for you know, to for people to like. You feel me? It wasn't like a, I ain't no, care who, how people. Who was it for? What, what was it for? Like I made this one because I fuck with this one. You feel me? Like, I mm-hmm. fuck with these songs. I think they fire. You feel mm-hmm. me? I feel like other people gonna think they fire too. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? But like I think I started. I used to care too much about you know. Critiquing okay. myself based off of how other people felt, so that's what I mean by that. Like okay. you know, okay. I'm like I did my own thing this time. Like right. I'm on some I'm on some roasting shit this time. I ain't know nothing else. I ain't had no like this is all me. Like, I feel like I got I really just got back to myself. I had some projects where I was dibbling and dabbling into other shit, but I mm-hmm. I didn't got back into myself. Now I feel like I'm in I'm in that mode with my my. So you was just in focus. Yeah, I mean my my truest form of myself. Truest form. Yeah. If you ain't your truest form, can you go higher? Yeah. It's always room for approval because I, I don't, I don't know, you know, I don't shun the influence. I accept mm-hmm. all the influence, you know what I mean? Right. But like, like I say, I don't want to, I don't want to copy nobody else. Style. I just, I see what they do and I'm like, oh, that's a bet. And I just, I grind harder. I figure out ways to make my, my music sound better to people because I listen to it all the time. And mm-hmm. I'm like, all right, I feel like it could use this, you know, because I critique my music. I feel like the hardest out of anybody that, right. you know, I'm like, all right, this is. This could be better, or this could be better, or this need this, or this feel like it needs somebody else on it, or this feel like it need a feature, or this feel like it need a, a singing voice or something like that, mm-hmm. you know, or a special effect or a beat drop or something like that. And yeah, you know. I feel but, that. Yeah, my, back on my meat shit. What kind, of, what kind of food do you eat in the studio when you're grinding? Uh, bro, usually, like, I ain't gonna count, like, some sandwiches. sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> you make shit, them, or yeah, where are you getting yeah. from? I make, I make a sandwich, bro. What yeah. kind of sandwich you make? Uh, usually some some turkey, either turkey or some ham, whatever in the refrigerator. Like, yeah, keep some sandwich meat in there. I keep some cheese. So, you know, throw that shit together. Give me some chips. You know, what I'm saying we got the variety pack. So, just grab one. Just grab one. Yeah, give me a water. Gotta stay hydrated. Yeah, yeah. You gotta stay hydrated, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that's the most important. So, how many songs on this album? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, like fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah. It's a lot. I ain't really numbered them yet. I just got them all in a folder. So, <clears throat> so you gonna you gonna actually put fourteen out, or you have fourteen you thinking about? Man, I got like twenty that I'm thinking about, but I think I'm mm. gonna put fourteen out. So okay, it's fourteen songs seems like a lot. Yeah. But how long are the songs? I mean, <clears throat> some of them like longer. Some of them short. Like you know, I got some interludes on there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Some that's just like I mean, real quick. You, you got? Like probably like two or three. Okay, that's Somewhere. not that's not too bad. Yeah, Drake dropped a song that had, I mean, an album that had twenty songs on that. Bit. And I know he Drake and all Which that. Which one was that? Uh, uh, <coughs> Scorpion. It was side A and side B. Yeah, it had like twenty some, songs. Yeah, three, if you got three, it off, three, it, you streamed it off of something like Apple Music. It yeah, had twenty. Yeah, twenty. Whose side you like best? Uh, me first. I like the R and B side. Bro, what's crazy? I like. I don't really like a side better. I feel like. <laughs> Drake always is every every album. It's always one song on there that's just like, all right, this is my favorite song, and the rest of them all in the category of the rest of them. You feel me? Like, but don't get me wrong. Yeah. Drake, one of my like favorite artists of all time. Question. Yeah. So if you don't want to pick sides, make your own side. So take a few songs and make your own side. Like, what's some songs you would put on there? Uh, Mob Ties for sure. Okay. Open opening track. Mob Ties. Uh, nah. I let you go to the list. So nah, 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 let me see. Open the track, bro. Let me see. Cause you gotta really come out the gate. If you drink, you know what I'm saying. You gotta come out. You gotta come out the gate hard. All right. I I know I ended the same way he did. March 14th. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. That's a good one. Yeah. To start it out, I have Motionless, 8 out of 10. Mm. Actually, I guess I would just pick side B then. It doesn't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah bro. Side B had a lot of hits. Uh, Sandra's Rose, bro. Yeah, bro. Ooh, Sandra Lowe. Yeah. Yeah, bro. I'm gonna have to Stupid pick side B. Talent. Yeah, yeah. I like uh, nonstop. Yeah, nonstop. But that was just like a. Yeah, he just made that shit. I know. It was hard as fuck. <laughs> yeah, that shit was fucked up. That's bro. a situational ass song. Yeah. If you hype as fuck, you just yeah. want to be hype listening to that shit. You on a road trip, y'all just rolling, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah that shit lit. shit, drink the Red Bull, you're going to be out of this fucking yeah. world. That's yeah, that's shit, facts. Man. Just some shit like that. It's some background music, basically. <sighs> facts, and you just, you listen to that shit, you just feel like you're at the club, bro. Honestly. Fact. feel like you're in a step up video. I'm about to say, this is shit that got the block high. Huh? <sighs> you're not really saying shit, just, um, just riding the beat. Right. I feel like that's what rappers like. They gotta do that more. I feel like they try to come up with too many bars. Some people don't want to hear that shit all the time. You know what I'm saying, bro? That's real, bro. <laughs> that's something that I did take like with this album. That's why I'm really excited about this one because with all my old projects, with well, most of them, I used to just be you know just rapping for the whole two minutes of the song. Yeah. And I realized like nigga, I don't, I don't give a fuck how hard you go, nigga. Don't nobody want to hear that shit. Like bro. they'll play it and they'll be like, oh yeah, that was far. But they're not going to go back and play it again because they don't want to hear all of that, They don't want to hear you just punching out a bunch yeah. of bars, which is cool if that's how you rap. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's my yeah. shit on that rap style, you know what I'm saying? But nah, it's not gonna, that's not going to cut it. They're not going to want to. It's not going to generate you no plays, bro. Don't you replay gonna, value. Yeah, Give them something to listen to it. You know what I'm saying? Give them a different experience each time. You feel me? Real shit, bro. Facts. So you got some baby stuff over here. Yeah, man, I got a, I got a son on the way, bro. Oh, that nigga, man. that nigga due date next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Yeah, bro. So any minute now, I might get that call right now. I'm like damn, it's time to go. But nah, I'm just yeah, I'll be, be cold. <laughs> I, I just have to pause the interview right here. I'm just gonna stay here though, <laughs> and I'm just gonna ain't gonna come back. Yeah, we gotta ride all the way to the hospital. Damn, that'll be lit. Oh yeah, turn that shit to an interview on the move. Yeah, yeah, that'd man, be fine. That'd, that'd be crazy. But yeah, hopefully I don't Make sure I got my keys on it. Why not this motherfucker? Don't meet. But, uh, so you got a son. Yeah. You excited? Yeah, man, that's crazy. It's my first child, you know what I'm saying? Um, mm hmm. Shit. I was just like, damn. When I first found out about it, like. You did a shot? Hell yeah. Like, you I was mean like. You know you did that shit, man. Well, I was like. Like when she first showed me a pregnancy test, like she didn't even like show it to me. I was like, I was just I walked back in the house and uh, I was going in the and we lived in a different apartment at the time. But I was walking in the bathroom mm -hmm. in the sink, like the other apartment, the sink wasn't in the bathroom. The bathroom was just a shower and the toilet, and yeah. the sink was on the outside of it. So I walk, I'm going to the bathroom, and uh, I look at the counter and I see the pregnancy test, you know. And at first I ain't paying no mind, but like. Mm. I, it registered in my mind a second later that that shit had a plus on it. I said, hold on. Hold on. I, did a, I did a double take, boy. I said, oh, <laughs> whoa, whoa, wait a minute. And I was just like, uh, yep. Yeah. But I was just like, well. Kind of strap up. Yep. Yeah. And my mama, I was just like, ugh. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. I did this shit. You yeah. can't really be like. Yeah, I can't take it back now. Hell no. Yeah, it's too late. But I ain't tripping. I wasn't, I wasn't never like upset. I was always just like. I was just like, damn, because it's, it's just like, it's here now, you know what I'm saying? I was excited. I was always excited, but I think it's going to be far. I don't, you know, I'm not worried about the responsibility because that shit ain't going to be hard, bro, you know? Changing a diaper, blah, 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 you know, that all that shit easy. Where it's going to get hard that it's later on down the line, but I ain't got to deal with that shit right now. That's for, that's something future roaster got to deal with, so yeah. this ain't, that, that ain't even on me, bro. I ain't even sweating that shit, you feel me? Man, that's good. And by then, I'll be equipped, you feel me? So, shit. Right. That's good you say that shit, like not really worrying about what ain't even happened. Yeah, and real nine shit. Time, and ten times out of ten, that shit's never gonna happen anyway. Yeah, real shit, bro. So why worry? I ain't worried about that shit. Like, shit gonna be easy, bro. Yeah. I ain't gonna just say easy, but it's gonna be, it ain't gonna be hard, bro. I just, plus, it's been something I've been like, I always thought about, like, you know, how it was gonna be as a dad just growing up. Just yeah. cause I was like, I wasn't really always just close with my dad, you feel me? Like, yeah. so I was just like, damn, when I have kids, I'm gonna be real fucking cool, you know what I'm saying? Real close with them and shit like that. So now that that nigga here, shit, it's up. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. 
That's a blessing for real, bro. Congratulations. Yeah, appreciate that. So I was thinking, I was driving on the way here. I was like, I was gonna ask you, what's your favorite movie? Damn, my favorite movie of all time. Something I can always watch. All time, yeah. I am legend. I am legend. Oh, yeah. Damn. I ask a lot of people that question off camera, but I never heard that one. Yeah, bro. I hear mostly like Pulp Fiction, Scarface. Put the other good movies, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, some fucking Michael Bay movies, Bad Boys and shit. I mean, all the movies far. Yeah. Bad Boys far, most definitely. It's just Will Smith always been, <coughs> well, him and Denzel Washington always been my favorite actors bro. of all time. Like, so, and then when I Am Legend came out, I think I was like 13 or some shit like that, bro. But that shit was just far. My mm-hmm. boy had his dog. He had to kill his dog. That shit had me fucked up. I was like, damn, bro. That shit had, I almost cried. I was too G for that shit, but I almost cried, bro. I was like, damn. That shit hurt. You ever, you ever seen Peyton Pool? Yeah, of course. People be telling me I look like an old boy off of that bitch sometimes. That shit be driving me, so I don't really like it. Yeah, bro. I don't really be like it. Low key. Low key. 